Okay, I'm going to do that too, actually. That's a bit. We, I don't know why. Okay, because I'm trying to get the lighting today. It's very good, however. No, but you're good. Eh, there you look nice. Hi. Hi, everyone. We're live, Marcy. Yeah, we're live, but I don't know how to keep up with who is watching. I think I'll have to be on my phone simultaneously. I'm watching us on our my phone. This is crazy. <laughs> so I'm looking at myself. Everything is fine. Let me see if I can hear me. Fine. Me. Fine. So we live. We live. So hi everyone. I'm Tura. Some of you know me. Let's see. And I'm Sha, and some of you know me as Madame Bay. So today we're going to be talking about uh, myth education. You know, let's uh, maybe, let me share my screen. Oh my God, let me mute myself here. Screen share work best in a good monitor. <laughs> so, application. Thank you for whoever has liked this live without before we even start. Let's say that because I can see someone already put a like. Thank yeah, you. So, hi everyone. Um, today we are going to be talking about uh, is it education or miseducation? Like everything that we went through school, all the let me see how many years are those. Let's say 20. <laughs> <laughs> Was it useful? Was it beneficial? Uh, is it school or homeschooling? What do you think? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Well, I don't know how I can, because when I'm sharing the screen, I can't see, I can't see myself, so. Well, you oh. don't always share it. I, oh, okay, I see. Okay, now I know how to do it. Okay, so that's what we're going to be learning today. So we will be, um discussing certain things that are definitely personal to each individual it's not like this is what you guys should think or you know it's just our it's just my observation her observation and just a few things that we just wanted to put forward as we know most of us are becoming parents or are already parents so we just need to see like what's the way forward is the education actually really good for us is it terrible is it like what what, what needs to be done so in this uh, life i'll be talking we'll be talking about that but first i need to share the screen otherwise i can't keep up with what i'm supposed to discuss oh yeah this is good. yeah so um, we'll start by uh, asking ourselves these questions. Uh, do you think do you think conventional education is helpful or is it overrated? What do you think you should have learned that is a life necessity a life necessity and was not taught to you? What have you taught yourself? And should we change the school system or should it stay the same or do we uh, or what do you prefer? homeschooling or tailor-made courses for your children um, moving forward. So I will start, Sheila will start with like, what do you think should, we should have lunch that is the necessity? What's wrong with me? Well, that, that is a necessity. necessity. And was not taught well, to. Your so friend, it is not your friend. Language. Maybe we, we do it alternatively. So you start with what you're supposed to say and then I will do okay so i'm going to talk about there's a lot of things that, way, sorry, Sheila, Sheila, please share the video because i believe there's so many people who would want to know you know to have this type of discussion so please share the video so that it reaches so many people and we you know start some sort of debate so yeah continue. so yeah 
Now, um, there are so many things, first of all, that I think we should have been taught and we, could, we should have learned in school, but I'm going to particularly talk about two things because that is my current area of ex not expertise, but that is where I'm currently active in life. So number one is holistic health. And the reason, well, there are so many reasons why I say holistic health is one of those things that we could have been taught. We were taught science in school. Of course, everyone was taught science. We know like your body components and all that shit, which is important. I'm not saying it's not important, but then after that, we went on to learn, oh yeah, good. We went on to learn chemistry. Not that chemistry is bad. I went on to learn physics and all that stuff. All that stuff is helpful in life, but it's not helpful to me right now a lot. Yet when you learn about holistic health, holistic health, I believe, beginning of everything, because first of all, your stomach and your gut is part of holistic health and it's like your second brain. They don't teach us such stuff, yet everything you eat affects how you do each and everything in life. I don't know if you guys know that, but slowly by slowly in the past couple of years, like the past three years, I've taken time to learn my own body patterns and I got to learn that every time I have like a bad meal, you know how people have a cheat meal and they're like, oh my God, it's just a cheat meal. You guys, it's not just a cheat meal. That cheat meal is going to affect how you're going to do your next work, your next, whatever thing you have to do. If you feel bad about yourself, you're not going to put in the work. I don't know. There is a process with, and there's so many other things when it comes to holistic health. For example, you fall sick of, let me give an example of hormonal imbalance. Uh, where we come from, I feel like I'm talking, this is Facebook, so everyone, most of the people here know us from back home. Come on. Like, talk. What? Talk. Talk, yeah. your, talk your shit. <laughs> yeah, we talk your shit. Um, every time you got, for example, an infection or hormonal imbalance, you know, they used to feed us with all these antibiotics, but we don't need any of those antibiotics. Did you, did you even ever know that? Like, all those antibiotics make you weaker. They're just there to destroy your system. Yet, I did have taken care of your health, eaten very well, and you would be fine and just taking some rest. Those, those are the simple examples of holistic health, just like even resting, taking enough sleep. Must go. <laughs> Hands up. Yeah, I just wanted to say something about the thing you said about antibiotics. Like, they did not teach us the fact that garlic is an antibiotic. You don't need to be taking tablets. You can actually extract the antibiotics from things like garlic or ginger or, you know, so many other things that that they did not teach us for example that should have been taught to us but then yeah continue yeah and i actually have a video on my youtube channel that garlic video it's the most watched video on my youtube channel and it explains that the people there in the comments even if you read in the comments they're all like oh my god i've tried all these antibiotics and they didn't work and when i tried garlic it worked but you also find that this kind of education is not allowed by the government i don't know i don't know how, what to even call it by the authorities because every time you put out such videos they are not really put out there because they, we live in a capitalistic world whereby they want to sell all these things that are damaging your body and yeah so when i talk about holistic health there are so many things it's not just it's healing naturally it's taking care of yourself it's actually holistic health introduces me to personal growth that's why i'm so passionate about holistic health because if you know what you, if you know how to listen to your body then everything else just kind of aligns together and then must you talk about history and then i'll talk about finance yeah so for me uh, the topic i want to talk about what they did not teach us is um history the type of history that we learned you know um it saddens me it saddens me so much first of all i've just learned when I moved here, which has been three years, I learned that there is psychology in linguistics. So I started to be careful about, like when I hear a word, of course it's an English word, what does it mean? And then I started hearing people saying, um, his story, history, his story. So whoever wins, whoever wins the war writes the story whoever wins the war writes the story and it has not been fair to minority groups, especially the black people whose history has been drowned, respected, disrespected, libraries were burnt down, 
so many things and it also makes sense why we do not know things to do with holistic health because our ancestors had written things they had written books about how to take care of your health even when they took uh, a few of them to the americas to be slaves there was always a man on the farm who had all these medicines and they would prefer to go to this mommy as opposed to going to a normal doctor. So all of this history was pushed under the rug and we were taught some one story that does not even describe us, all that history was. And this also intertwines into religion and how everything was, was just manipulated to elevate a certain group of people that we are only now finding out that, of course, some people don't even know that the original man was black, you know, things like that. So I feel like they should have taught us our own history. I would have wanted to know about Imhotep, the gods in Egypt. I would have loved to learn in depth about those gods. I would have learned to know if really our ancestors sold our sisters and brothers into slavery or if is that that is not uh, if it's true or not i would have learned to know uh that you know there was a sort of um science with african medicine there was a sort of science with african politics so i just want to know black history i don't want to be told about napoleon of course it comes in but i don't see why i did napoleon for two years napoleon i did then even this geography like I said, okay the alps were made like it was the basis. but how does and that it was the basis. we passed exams you know and you know what is so funny is that this is how you realize that we were really really colonized even in our education that when we are studying we don't study about uh, Eastern civilizations like Chinese civilization, Indian civilizations. We do not because those also came from Egyptian civilization. You know, they only teach us about Canada. They teach us about, they don't even teach us about the Americas, the Latin American countries. They only teach but us. Not, when, in geography, they teach us about Canada. But when you think about Canada, by the way, I found out that Canada is three years old. They drowned our Canadian history because they came here and took over the what are they called the originals the originals the yeah. aboriginals yeah. yeah so they don't talk about their history even in school when they're talking about history here my friends told me that they said that oh can it can doesn't exist because canada is fairly new but it does exist there's oh i'm not talking about canadian history i'm talking about generally world history you have to just question the things that we are taught go on mercy yeah like for me i feel like it was a strategic plan so that we don't learn about a chinese culture and chinese medicine chinese technology which is valid for our own development too because i understand they also have a very rich culture you know so we weren't taught that kind of that part of history they did not teach us about the sumerians they did not teach us about the syrians they did not teach us about our ancestors, like what were the names of our rivers before these people came? What were the names of, of our roads? You know, what did we do? What did our women do? You know, what 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 was the role of polygamy in our societies? Not just the demonization, but actually what was it there for? What did it represent? All of those things were not taught to us. The African history that was taught to us was very generic and it was directly given to our colonizers in a script you know that this is what you should say this is that the arab influence in africa was only you know as vague as they said it was you know all of that bullshit you know so yeah they should have taught us our history not his story our own yeah so Sheila, you go. Interesting. You guys, this is my favorite part. And you don't even have to go to that slide. Let me start. I th you know, you didn't even have to tell me to start. I was going to go and about it. You go, girl. Yeah. Take me off the slide. Remove the slide. I don't. Yeah. So financial discipline. You guys, I, I went to school and I studied finance. I graduated uh, with, I, I studied international business and studied finance. And um, sorry, majored in finance. Everything you learn in school is important. I'm not saying that it's not, but it's only important for you to operations. It's not important for you as Mercy or for me as Sheila or for you as whoever is watching. And I don't know 
if you've ever had this struggle, Mercy, I'm very sure you've had this struggle because we've had this talk so many times of you don't not knowing how to uh, manage your money. I'm not saying like, oh, I have money in my savings. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like, there are so many people, by the way, in our day and age who have debt. I know so many people in our age that have debt and do not know how to pay their debt, that live beyond their means. All these things, the reason why all these things happen, number one, first of all, is because of miseducation. Like I said, we are taught different things. The is set to make us want things, so you're always consuming stuff that you shouldn't consume. Anyway, recently, I was we I was faced. Let me talk about myself. I was faced with this situation whereby I had to like calculate my money step by step, and it made me have to do research about financial research of how to handle my own money. But if we were told this in school at this age, I'm 31, I shouldn't be having to go back to the drawing board to figure out how to use my own money. And then I realized that we really don't know how to money our money and i'm not talking about oh i work and i have some savings that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about like making real gold you know from uh what is it pocket to mouth is it is that what it's called pocket mm -hmm. to mouth hand to mouth something like that whereby every time you like you always check to check basically every time you make your money you just spend it all you're not calculating your money and then i realized that all that stuff they teach us that in financial discipline, like finance class and whatever, is the stuff you need to apply in your real life, but you don't know how to apply it because you were never taught that stuff. So you don't even know how it applies to your life. So recently I was doing this YouTube video, I was planning some content for my YouTube video, and then I had to actually, well, you know, and you want to make a video, and then you have to apply your real life to this thing. And then I'm like, oh my God, what did I really learn in school about finance? I do not know shit. And then I realized that's how many people end up in debt. Because every time they get their money, they think, oh, I have money, I'm going to spend it this certain way. But no, you like the way you run, that's why the successful people are successful because they run their businesses. They treat, they treat their money the way they run their businesses because your life is also like your business technically. But they don't teach us that in school. So you go on thinking that, oh my God, yeah, I can have this money. I spend it here. I buy this, I buy this. Before you know it, you're in debt. So much debt. And I don't know where to start talking about financial discipline from, but recently I noticed, another thing I noticed is that, let me give another thing. Like if you work for, I did financial work for a construction company and every week or every day you have to balance your books. So while doing this, I also decided to balance my own expenses with my uh bank statement and then i realize all the things that i'm subscribed to amazon prime netflix whatever do i even watch movies i don't watch movies i yo i don't watch movies at all guilty. but i'm not on i'm guilty so of I'm subscription. technically i'm watching my on these subscriptions that I'm not even watching, but just because it's a thing, I'm watching it. So I'm looking at all my statements and then I see all these bank charges. I'm like, why is the bank charging me? But we never really look at all these things. And then you're like, I don't have money. I don't have money, but your money has disappeared like that because they don't teach you that you have to also do your own inventory. And that kind of inventory is the same kind of inventory you have to do in your life on different levels. It's not just financial inventory, it's everything. You know, and those are the small, small things we're talking about miseducation. We go to school, yes, we learn biology, we learn whatever. Oh, biology is important, that's not what I'm SST, social studies, whatever, all these things that are none of our business, but we never really learn the stuff that is really important as an adult. And financial discipline is really, really one of them because I know a lot of people are it. I could go on and on, but I would like people to make some comments and then after that, you know. Let me know how you guys are doing financially. For me, the thing with finance, like and what they did not teach us, the fact that you go, you you find a person who went, uh, who did a whole degree in, let's say, a bachelor's in business or a master's in business, and they don't know how to handle their own finances. They cannot start up a business. I think this is this is where, like, that's why you see that. Certain people, like our parents, were able to make money even though they were not um, educated. educated. It's because that they learned the real, you know, like real trading, real trading from you know person to person, 
knowing you need to keep your inventory, knowing that you need to, you know, practically, as opposed to giving you bunches and bunches of theory, because I believe as human beings, even when you see like a little child, the only way you're going to teach a little child a fraction is by getting something actually, you know, a whole, let's say orange, cut it in two, two. This is half and half, then cut it in two, two, you're going to get a quarter, you know, like that. So in that way, they did not teach us about finances that way. Do I think it was a trick? I think it was a trick in a way because this kind of teaching keeps only a few on the top and the rest of you who are given the generic education because your parents are not going to tell you how to make money, you know, how to make money. Most of the people who make money start to make money by hanging out or by being inspired by people who are actually making money moves that are actually making money moves. There are no money moves you're going to make based off of the things that were given to you in school. Like you're going to go back to the book or you're going to remember this teacher told me that this is what we should do. So let me use this you know, I, I I guess, I don't know, that's my point. I don't know. Let, let me give you another example. I did business in school and when I left school, because I come from an entrepreneurial family and I have like experience from family business and then I also went to finance, to business school and they taught us how to start a business. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be able to start a business. What, what, I start a business in Uganda. Did it work? But it's because the education I learned is just so theoretical. And actually, that's the thing about education. I feel like certain certain levels of education, like learning how to start a business. I shouldn't be in school learning how to start a business. And I don't think I'm going to start a business. You get what I mean? Why am I in school learning how to do a business? Everything I learned, by the way, I, did, I don't even remember what I learned in school because everything I'm doing in my business right now, even Masi, what you're doing for your business right now, you're relearning. And you're relearning with a different perspective, not like learning of this perspective. Oh, I'm going to grow someone's business. Yo, it's not that. Yeah, let's go to the next topic. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next we topic. Have time. But uh, I'm, if you you was so, you do have something more to say, maybe. No, no, no. Go on. Okay. So the next topic is personal growth. Um, I'm I'm rushing through because we've already gone for twenty two minutes. So. So the next the, the next uh, topic is me talking about personal growth. Um, to be honest with you, our 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 curriculum does zero for personal growth. You know, I mean, I went to a boarding school since I was five, and of course they teach you things like cleanliness. But you're not going to teach a five year old who is amongst. And oh, please, please first pause. You're talking about cleanliness before even waking up in the morning. You know how they used to tell us to wake up in the morning at 5 a.m.? That shit is helpful right now. But our minds are damaged from waking up that earlier in cold water that even if right now it's good for us, we don't do it because of the age at which it was given to us and how it was even given to us, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, it's... For me, I feel like with children... It's they live by example. If that's your lifestyle, your child is going to get the same lifestyle. But now here we are in school because most of our time is spent in school with strangers, not with our parents. You have to, you know, remember. Because if it was up to our parents growing up, certain things, they would be responsible, you know, for how they turned out. But in this case, it's the school. We are talking about the school. So, like, why, why do we spend all of these years in this school, yet there are certain crucial life um life aspects that we should learn as children you know because once you reach adulthood it's kind of difficult for you to develop those things for example they tell you like you said like wake up in the morning but they wake you up with uh, punishment or with uh, they beat you. it's like military like i don't know yeah beating you up or you know for example that's what happened used to happen in my school primary school and high school when you sleep too much and you're supposed to be somewhere they're going to lock you up in the dormitory they resort to violence and it was very apparent very very apparent so the other things that they did like they should they should have taught us that you need to love yourself you don't need someone else to love yourself to love you know to love you it should love yourself we did not have such uh, extra topics that are going to build your inner self like they, we did not have so much of like confidence. You have to, you had to build your own confidence based off of a group of people you surrounded yourself with. It wasn't apparent to tell you, oh my God, 
you know you need to pamper yourself or you, you need, need to, to yourself you need to make sure that you get the best for yourself you need to be make sure you show up for yourself if you don't show up yourself for yourself like you're investing in your future so if you do something right now it goes back to why certain children used to be forced to go to school like they did not want to be like they didn't want to go to school you know because it, it it does not make sense to them like why am i going to school what am i learning they're like the people there are mean they don't make me feel good they just put me down i don't want to go to school especially kids who had special needs for example who sometimes they would mix with the normal kids and you know it would just be total disaster so basically i mean for me just throw the whole system out because i feel like personal growth for example writing a to-do list things teaching you like procrastination like procrastination is not good for you like do not postpone something you have to do for now and then prioritizing after, yeah prioritizing and then after realizing that now i realize that it's a whole broken system because the teachers are preaching the same thing that they were preached to and they were preached to and they were preached to and they were preached to but this has to stop with us you know because as adults who have gone to school, we see that in a way it's a waste of money because if you did go to school, the ultimate goal for you was as soon as you get out, you're going to get a job, job. the job that you, you, you've been in school for and you're not going to have problems or you're going to have a system that is going to help you achieve your dreams. You're not going to have problems, but you find out that you even get out of school they did not teach you how to write on just a business plan you know just personal gross <laughs> gross passion <laughs> passion <laughs> yeah, girl, keep, it, keep it coming mm -hmm. like just personal growth stuff you know where like even cleanliness for example they made it seem like um some some students were just automatically clean yet they had their own parents training them at home that hey when you wake up in the morning make your bed brush your teeth and, blah, blah, blah. and then there are there are, there are certain kids like now like me at five years old you've taken me to boarding school i'm like what the hell is going on i don't know i don't know i'm supposed to be responsible for my property i don't know i'm supposed to you know uh, they don't sit you down in class and tell you we were lucky in my school that one time we had a bathing class they brought one student a boy and a girl and they showed us how you're supposed to bathe yourself how you should brush you know things like that i was lucky i went to such a school but what about these other ones like you meet as an adult and you're like dude am i supposed like am i your mom to teach you how to take a shower <laughs> no but no offense no no seriously i'm not talking about boys alone i'm talking about girls it's, it's a thing it's a just thing yeah that's true seriously it's a general thing you meet someone as an adult and they don't know how to shower it's not really too much but like i'm not even going to shut up my teeth or making your bed or you know i'm here talking but i'm not i had it I, my bed is not nicely made that those are things i'm talking about you know and then yeah actually you'll find that some people will be able to do those things right make their bed do this do this right do that right and they have their things organized but they'll have the worst spending habits you know what i mean or they'll have the worst communication interrelationships with people and stuff like that you know so mm -hmm. yeah. so let's go to the next sheila um I think that was it. no 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 i need to be here ah So what did you have to teach yourself? Oh my God, don't even get me started. What did I write in my notes? Literally everything I do right now is self-taught. Yeah, exactly as you see in the notes, literally everything I do right now is self-taught. Um, where is that slide? I have to look at it with my end. Yes, I, I'm going to start with spirituality. Like I'm going to start with how to manage my finances because I was taught this in school and since I've already kind of briefly talked about it. That's what I'm going to start with. I taught myself how to manage my finances. And when I talk about managing finances, you guys, I'm one of those people that have had to start uh, start from scratch as an adult. And it's been very difficult. So I taught myself how to manage my finances as an adult. And if you guys want to see anywhere, you can start from scratch. You can check out my YouTube channel. Uh, this is a, what, what do they call this? I'm advertising for myself. I forgot the word, but yeah. 
check out my YouTube channel. Uh, you, I have a beginner's guide to life, but to budget adults. Check it out. Yeah, finances. And then, should I keep going, Masi? Should I finish, or you're going to finish? Um, or you're going to we have to for the next few slides. Let's you know uh, be brief. Okay, so, so it's, just talk about yours in five minutes. Or so it, it's uh, managing finances, and then the other thing is spirituality. Now, for spirituality, let me tell you guys something. I I, I come from a Muslim background. And I'm proud of my Muslim values. By the way, I'm really proud of my Muslim values. But I'm I'm understanding what religion and spirituality is as I grow up. I get my connection with God and source, whatever you'd like to call it. I've learned it as an adult and I've learned where I lie spiritually. I would go on about that, but I would have to talk about it forever. So that's a, a topic for another day. Then human relations and connections. Let me tell you, I'm the worst when it comes to human relations. Even my, Masi can tell you, like, every time something happened, I'm the worst at bringing news. I'm the worst at everything. I just don't know how to be expressive. And I feel like these are things that we, we should have been taught in school. I was talking to my mom recently, and then she goes, like, Sheila, why, why do you talk like that? Like, because one day she asked me when I moved into this. She goes, like, Sheila, how is your new place? Blah, blah, blah. And my reaction was, like, it's good. And then she goes, like, Really? I don't ha I don't know really how to express myself or how to talk about good things or how to I don't know it's just basically one of those things that yeah, let I me talk you. Hi guys if you're watching us please share the video so that this information gets out just tap the share button or like you know when you like and share the info information gets out more so yeah continue. last but not least the one thing I've taught myself is learning how to love myself of learning myself and knowing who I truly am that is going to be the last one because let me tell you something if you don't know who you are every world is going to throw you everywhere you're going to take all the bullshit and it's something that kept me in this situation that was so messed up i was always angry i was always ranting mostly because i put myself in situations and though i put myself there because i didn't know who i really was and i thought i had to suck up to everyone which i don't so yeah those the, the, those are the life lessons and, and that's also another topic of its own on another day that's my, that's, those are the things I've taught myself that I'm so proud of right now. And holistic health, of course. Holistic health. I, I forgot that, but yeah, that too. I'm so proud. Let me see. I, I can't, I need to go to the other side. The other slide. Advanced computer skills. Uh, for me, I've had to teach myself most computer skills, you know, like, because I realize, hey, guys, by the way, if you're watching this, wake up, wake up, because the world you're getting into does not wait for anyone who does not have any computer knowledge. You need to teach yourself. You need to teach yourself a little bit, you know, how to code at least, you know, or, you know, certain things, especially if you're a guy. And for me, my industry, the industry, I mean, as a fashion designer, I've had to learn to do certain things because otherwise I would have to be spending lots of money hiring other people to do it. For example, photography. I've had to train myself, you know, photography and stuff, you know, gain photography skills, have editing skills, website social, design, social media, social media management skills, um, HTML. I, I thought I, I had to learn HTML. A little bit i won't say i'm a whiz but you know web design i can design a website i design my website check out my website www.thetura as in as you see tour here but with the the tour.com there you can see everything that i've done and all my designs and all that stuff um yeah basically I'll, because growing up in our high school which is the right edge for you to start learning computer technology and right now it's even within the, the single digits age group you know, that's when these people start learning computer knowledge. And for us, we start really late and it puts us really behind. So if if you want to teach your child something extra right now, please teach them computer knowledge. Like, it, it, it will be a plus for their life. And then, um, let me see. Yeah, personal discipline, you know, like... Time they, management, waking up in the morning. No, no, not in that way. Like, you know how they teach you that uh, an adult is a person supposed to tell you what to do? And the way they told things to us, they told them to us. They did not follow those things. They did not do those things. 
they were not those things so it was hard for us to hear things like like personal like what is even personal growth do you does it matter to you that yesterday you were an asshole and today you're better things like that does it matter they always refer to personal and this is the thing i really hate about our culture is that they put religion they put everything in religion and it makes us miss the point so when you say personal growth you will hear them referring to religion as the source of personal growth whereby there are rules and regulations telling you what to do and that is it that is all because you have a book that was sent to you and that is what you should be following for your personal growth you know like they intertwine everything within religion and they miss the point that you 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 as a person you have to sit down and and look at yourself from within you know and look at your actions what your intentions your everything not just going to repent or going to pray what do you want? What are you praying for? What are your values? Because if your values matter, yeah. What did you do yesterday that is going to benefit you tomorrow? What did you do yesterday that you can do better? Who did you do wrong two years ago that you think you did wrong? And now you need to, you know, just 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 those things, you know, personal growth. They tell you consistency every day, 90 days, then you start a habit. They don't tell you such things in school. You find them out when you go. They don't teach you um etiquette as i would say like like normal etiquette you find some people eating very poorly which i think those are those are because we go to school to be to learn how to be social but if you get out and you're not even really sociable then what's the point first pause mercy before you go to the next you talked about food and what you're supposed to eat what we don't this is the thing where we when we we're talking about miseducation Right now, what you don't understand is that whatever you watch on TV influences how you eat and your eating patterns. So this is a capitalistic world that puts all these things in front of you so that you can eat unhealthy. But if you take, if you learn how to take care of your health, you'd know that all these things are capitalistic and then you can't, and then eventually all these things that they're putting in your face are going to cause you to gain weight. And it's like a vicious cycle. So you feel bad about yourself, continue doing all these things together, you just be in this rant and you can't get yourself out of it. And that's personal, that comes together with personal growth. It's like a trap that you're in. It's not even anyone's fault, Mercy. It's like a vicious cycle trap that you're set to, that is put for you to like fail or some shit like yeah. that. So let me say the last one. My last one is seeking more knowledge. I feel like they taught us to be complacent with the knowledge they were giving us they did not tell us that what they are teaching us is not all that what they are teaching us was not it that what they were teaching us was just a generic thing that each and every person had their own is going to was bound to have their own personal experience so them making us feel like we were a group yet in actual sense at the end of the school each one of us had their own backgrounds, families, and, and futures, you know? So, so they just did not tell us that, hey, you need to be curious. You need to do more research. You need to find out your own individual, independent judgment of things and how things turn out. You don't have to follow the books. So I feel like it's our duty right now to challenge all those things that were taught to us, to write new books, um, to like just change the narrative because we can we can now we can you cannot say oh there are not enough books in the curriculum written by like um, african people or people from because we are from uganda you cannot say that there isn't enough of them you know so we need to teach our children the the, the spirit of being curious not curious the one that kills the cat because that's nosy but curious, <laughs> but curious in a way that you want to learn, curious in the way that you want to learn for you and for your future, not to learn to know or to learn to be better in exams or to learn to pass exams and, you know, and that is all, yeah. So um, to conclude, uh, 
uh we have a question it's an open question whoever watches this video please feel free to comment and tell us your opinion and what you think so should we change am i sharing the screen right now can you see no. Yeah? no <laughs> just say what you want to say okay okay you see now yeah i can see it so the, the question is, should we change the school system or should we, should it stay the same? Or do you prefer homeschooling and tailor-made courses for your children moving forward? So um, this is, these are our social media platforms. Um, she's Madame Bay on, uh, on Instagram and on YouTube. Um, I'm the Tura. Uh, on and Instagram. together we are a Queen's Wigs. Um, Tora on Instagram, <laughs> the Tora, and together we are the Queen's Wheat. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's the question of the day. Should we change the school system, or should should it stay the same, or you uh, or should prefer on schooling um, and tailor made courses? Tailor made meaning like you choose a bunch of courses from different uh, professors. Okay, and, I want to see that this slide. Yeah. Cool. Like tailor made is like you choose from different professors or different you know sources of knowledge for your children you know for extra classes because I understand going to school is compulsory which I don't think it should now you know because there are all sorts of resources that parents can have access to to take their children to this school so I don't think taking your child to a conventional school should be compulsory yeah so these are the questions please answer those questions share our video and before we go the last question. I mean, it's just a statement. It's not a question. I just want to put this guy, this in your minds for now, for today, to think about this. Um, it's just something to think about. Um, so, Sheila, do you want to read it? No, you can go ahead. Okay. I have to teach myself how to search for the truth because my truth, uh, my truth, because I'll say that again. I have to teach myself how to search for the truth. My truth, because the journey only ends once you die. Learning could perhaps be the essence of life. Um, yeah, so we have to teach ourselves to be curious. We have to know that the life that we are in, every day is a learning curve, every day is a learning, you know, thing so we have to make ourselves curious don't be complacent with the knowledge you were given two years ago one month ago you know make it your own and make it suit yourself so for me and every time you see something in the world that's going on just be curious to do some more research about it don't just take it as it is just do some research basically yeah because so, there's a lot of things to learn anything you want to add Sheila? No, I'm actually done. I think we've covered it all for now. I mean, yeah, for now we've covered it until next time. Okay, you guys, until okay, next time. Let us know anything else you would like to watch, stuff about personal growth, self-development, finance, art, I don't know, whatever it is. Let yeah. us know whatever it is you're struggling with because we are also struggling and we're on a journey and we feel like sharing our journey and our experiences and our opinions is going to be helpful to mm -hmm. someone out there. Yeah. I need to go to the <laughs> Okay, you guys. Bye. Oh my god, Mercy, you're funny. Get out. Okay, bye guys. End broadcast.